Hey there! In this video, I will show you two new Akakis picnic baskets that were released just a week ago and one basket that was released a while ago, but I got it from Puzzle Master. I believe it was printed by Akaki himself. But before showing you the puzzles, I want to thank you all for your support in my previous video. Since I asked you to hit the like button, I showed you where to find the like button and I think it worked. I've got 5 to 6% more likes than in my uh, usual videos. And since it works, I think that we have to do it the same way again and again. I'm gonna make a video, you watch it and hit the like button. That's simple. And now let's talk about Akaki's picnic baskets. Today I'm gonna show you three baskets. Two are brand new, they were released just a week ago. I've printed them myself. And this one, chocolate basket, uh, it's quite an old one. It was released at the beginning of this year. Uh, I've got this puzzle from Puzzle Master. I believe it was printed by Akaki himself and sold by Puzzle Master. By the way, if you want to buy at least one of the uh, picnic baskets or the whole series, you can find them at Puzzle Master. The link is going to be in the video description. If you uh, use my link to buy a puzzle, I'm going to get a small commission from the Puzzle Master and that's how you can support my channel. So this chocolate basket comes assembled. That is the reason why I want to try it, since usually when I 3D print puzzles, I have to assemble them myself, but this comes already assembled. I think it might be a little bit more difficult to solve it since I don't see the parts. I just can guess what is happening inside. Maybe that's gonna make it a little bit more uh, difficult challenge. And the second reason why I got this puzzle is that I want to compare the printing quality. Uh, since usually I talk a lot, a lot about how bad my printing quality. So I want to check uh, how good Akaki's puzzles were printed. So let's start with comparing the printing quality. The one on the left was printed by myself, the one on the right by Akaki. And you can clearly see that Akaki's piece is more consistent, layers are much smoother than in my piece. But I can see that Akaki's piece, as well as mine, uh, has this kind of a elephant foot on the bottom, when the bottom like three or four layers are squished and usually it bothers me a lot but i see that it's not only my issue so as you can see the printing quality is not so much different and it's not going to affect the solution process the only thing that i made this time different is i printed a bigger size basket and a bigger size parts since it was recommended by akaki to print new puzzle with bigger parts uh, before i've been printing these tiny baskets with tiny pieces and i had a lot of issues putting parts uh, inside but this time i printed a bigger one and now parts fit inside just perfect i don't have uh, to cut anything they're just moving like it meant to be so uh, this time my uh, printing was so good that i was pretty much satisfied with it as i told you akaki created two new puzzles the first one is charcoal and the second one is barbecue uh, i've printed charcoal with a white color probably the charcoals are too hot that's why uh, they are white and this puzzle is going to be very difficult since it requires as i remember 33 moves to put all parts inside and then 33 moves to uh, remove them from the basket so that's going to be a challenging puzzle the barbecue is going to be a little bit easier but still probably going to be a nice challenge these two puzzles i don't think you can buy them somewhere but you can download stl file at thingiverse i'm going to put a link in a video description and if you don't want to print anything and you don't mind spoiling the solution for yourself keep watching the video and i'm gonna start with chocolate basket since i want to try a puzzle that is already assembled and i don't know the solution yet since usually when i 3d print akaki's baskets uh, i have them disassembled and i have to figure out the way how to put all parts inside here it's going to be different i don't know the shape of the parts i don't know uh, probably I know there is supposed to be like three or four parts inside and I have to figure out the way how to remove them So let's see how difficult this puzzle is gonna be. So the obvious move is gonna be to flip it upside down you Can move this piece a little bit What's next? I can't move anything. Oh, okay. This piece is moving as well And there is another piece down there which is moving okay let's see maybe i can a hey, maybe i can move this part oh i can move it and i can easily remove it okay the first piece was easy but that's most of the time 
This Akaki's basket's first piece is easy to remove, but then it's going to be a little bit more difficult. So it looks like I have three more pieces inside. This one, oh, I think that I can rotate it here. Nope, I can't. Maybe this way. Uh, nope, just a little bit. Okay, I think that there's supposed to be another way how to move it. Oh, this piece, it goes up. One step here, oh, I can remove it. And there are two parts left. How to remove them. So probably now I can rotate this piece. No, 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 no. Oh yeah, I can do it. But then it is kind of stuck. Mm -hmm. What's gonna be the next move? Oh, ooh, that was a complicated move. There was like this, then I had to rotate it like this. Ooh, yeah, the rotation is crazy. And the last piece is here. Okay, that wasn't difficult to remove. I thought it's gonna be much more difficult. So now let's find how these parts were inside. As I remember, it was something like this. And I have just to move this piece up to the left. The, this here then this piece goes out okay that is not gonna be difficult I want to take a closer look at this piece since I'm wondering why it has this texture here it, it looks like this part was the bottom part it was sticking to the printing bed but it looks like it was printed in tiny parts have no idea why it was like that if you know let me know in the comments maybe it's gonna improve my printing so now I'm gonna put everything back so the first piece was this one the next one is gonna be this piece oh no 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 not this one the next one is gonna be this piece and I guess I have to put it like this then rotate it like this and move to the left next piece goes this one and inside and the last piece is going to be this one. Okay, the assembled puzzle wasn't difficult. I thought it's going to be more challenging to remove parts since I have no idea what is the shape. But this one wasn't difficult at all. Okay, now I'm going to move to Akaki's basket that I've printed. So I'm going to start with the charcoal uh, puzzle and then move to barbecue so let's try to figure out the way how to put all parts together I don't think it, this one is gonna have a lot of different assemblies to create a cube since these two parts are very complicated and these are just gonna be added somewhere on the side so let's see what I can do here yeah that looks like the only possible way I can put this part here, but then I don't know where to put this piece. Okay, so that's not going to be the correct one. Let's see what else I can do. Try this one. This is not correct. And, oh, this piece is crazy. Oh, like this. Is it looks like something? No, 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 no. I can put one piece here, but then I don't know where to put this part again. Ooh, I think I found it, finally. Why I wasn't able to find this shape before? Oh, because I haven't tried to put this piece from this side. I was trying to fit it from this side. Okay. Whew. Okay, the, the, now the most easy part, <laughs> or maybe even more difficult part, I have to fit everything inside. So let's try to imagine that I'm gonna put it Mm, probably like this let's see I can remove this cube easily I can move these two parts up this will go to the left this can go here up but then I'm not going to be able to remove it because of this part um, 
Okay, probably that is not the correct one. Let's try to imagine that the basket is going to be like this and the parts are going to be like this. What I can do? This piece I can move up, but I can't remove it. I can move like three pieces up. Maybe I can move the bottom piece towards myself one step, but I don't think it gives me anything. Yeah. Hmm. Is it not the only assembly? Uh, I guess this is the only one since there... Oh, th there are not many possibilities. Maybe like this. There is another part that covers the whole opening. But I don't believe I'm going to be able to do something here. I have no idea what to do next. Let's see how I can fit this piece inside. It's going to be something like this down and then I have... Oh! It's going to be difficult to fit this piece inside because it's supposed to be like this. But I'm not sure if I can put it inside like this. I can probably try some crazy moves like this, but then it falls down like this and I can't rotate it inside. Oh, I have to find this move. I can try to start like this maybe. No, 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 I don't think it's gonna help. Oh, maybe, no. Or maybe I can rotate it. No, I can't rotate it like this either. Mm. That is difficult. That is really difficult. So if I put it like this, it's not gonna... Oh! Oh, I think that I found it. I found it. This is the only move that is gonna fit this part inside. Okay, but how to deal with the rest of the parts? If this piece is gonna be inside first, when, when it is inside, I can, alone, I can actually rotate it as much as I want. Now let's try to fit this piece. If this will go first. And if I'm, I'm going to be able to fit it inside. No, not like this. Let's see, if I put it here, will I be able to stick this piece inside? Uh, looks like no. So the only option is to fit it in that corner. Or maybe I can do it like this. Let's see. No, doesn't look like it helps at all. So I can try to put it in this corner. Mm. Oh. Oh, it is possible like this. Okay, now I'm pretty sure I can rotate the bottom piece below yep oh it is rotated <gasps> oh and i can stick this piece now i'm pretty sure i can fit it inside and rotate it there let's see ah no 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 not now not now but i think that i still have another option which is going to be quite fun as well i can rotate the bottom piece again okay the bottom piece is rotated and now i can stick this piece inside to the left and probably now it's gonna be if i move it to the left i can rotate it okay now i just have to figure out how to rotate the bottom square piece again maybe it's gonna be possible like this and do it in this corner okay let's see mm, now it is even more complicated since there are many parts inside and I don't even know if it is possible to do now it's not going to be possible like this oh that's how it's going to be possible these two are going up and that bottom piece I can probably rotate now oh but I don't know how since I have to stick my finger inside to help myself but that is difficult Oh, done, done, done. Okay, I just have to fit this piece inside. What I have to do for that? Move this here, move this here. This goes here. And... 
And it's supposed to be it. Where is the piece that is on the bottom? Oh, done. Oh, that was a tough one. That was a tough with some tricky moves, especially the parts on the bottom. They are almost impossible to rotate. So now I have to remove all these parts since I have another puzzle to solve and I have only one basket. So let's try again. This goes up, the bottom piece goes to the right, this square piece goes to the left. And I can remove this piece. Next. The bottom piece goes here and I have to rotate the second bottom piece, which is not so easy to do. Oh, finally. Oh my God, it took me about 10 minutes to rotate that piece. Okay, now I have to move the square piece, rotate it. I have to move it here, rotate and remove from the basket. And now I have only two parts left. Again, I have to rotate some of the parts. So the bottom piece I have to rotate, I think twice now. So that I can remove this piece. Hope this time I'm not gonna spend hours trying to rotate the bottom piece. Let's see. At least now I can use both, uh, use at least two fingers to rotate the bottom piece and maybe that's gonna help me. Oh, one rotation is done. And the second one is gonna be much easier. Oh, finally. Whew, that was difficult. That was extremely difficult. Not because of the, yeah, the shape of the parts is difficult. That's for sure. It was difficult to find the correct cube, but the rotations inside, they are just insane. And now the last one, the barbecue. Oh, I had an issue printing this puzzle since I didn't have enough of orange uh, filament and I thought that it will be enough to print the last piece, but it didn't print just about uh, one or one and a half millimeters. So this piece is not fully printed, but I hope it's not gonna affect the solve. So let's try to figure out the shape of the cube and then put it inside the frame. Oh, that looks like the shape and there is only one side here which, which I can use to fit into the frame. So let's see what I can do. If I put it inside, for example, like this, I can move this up and no, that's not going to be the solution. Okay, maybe I have to put it like this and let's see, this goes up. And I can move it all the way here and remove it. Okay, that's good. But the rest three parts are not as easy. I can move this up, but that's it. Okay, maybe I have to do it like this. Let's see, I can move this up. I can move it all the way here, but that's, that's all. Oh, maybe I can rotate it here. Maybe I can rotate this piece right in the corner. Probably it's gonna be possible. Yeah, it feels like it's gonna be possible. Okay, let's think that it is possible. The next piece is gonna be this one. I can move it up. And that's it. But maybe... Oh, that feels like I can rotate this one as well. I don't know, I have to try it inside maybe the handle won't allow to do that but that might be the move okay let's think it is the move what's gonna be the next 
I have two quite complicated pieces. I can move them up, like up a lot, then this goes here. Okay, I have to think about this part a little bit more. What I can do here. That's definitely, I can move, oh, I can maybe move it all the way here. And then remove this piece, oh. Okay, let's try like this. This piece goes here. Then I can stick this part. And they go here, oh, that looks nice. So the next one was this piece. And I have to rotate it. Probably I have to move this piece up a little bit to make the rotation possible. Oh, the pieces are too tight. Yep. Oh, that looks that looks like this rotation is possible. Mm, just a little bit is not enough. Maybe I have to move this piece up for that. Oh, I don't like when my pieces are too tight. That doesn't help to solve the puzzle at all. So it goes inside and it goes in. Okay, the rotation is very much possible here and the last piece is going to be this one and the puzzle is solved. Okay, the barbecue wasn't as hard as the charcoal puzzle. So let's sum up. I've solved three puzzles. Chocolate wasn't difficult, but the rotation of one of the parts was crazy. The charcoal puzzle, it was totally crazy since it was hard to assemble the cube outside the basket. It was difficult to put all parts inside the basket and the rotations, they were just so crazy that at one point it took me 10 minutes to rotate just one piece. That almost blew my mind. And the barbecue puzzle wasn't difficult, but still quite uh, an interesting puzzle. By the way, Akaki told me that he created charcoal puzzle around this piece. He found this shape, he found this tricky move, how to put it inside the basket. And then he decided that it's gonna be a puzzle and I have to add a couple of more parts. And he ended up with this beast, which is quite difficult to solve. Probably, if this puzzle is gonna be sold somewhere, assembled, it's going to be almost impossible to solve it. It's going to, but probably I would spend hours trying to figure out the way how to remove parts since it would be impossible to find all the necessary steps. And that's it for today. If you like Akaki's picnic baskets and you want to buy some of them, link is going to be in a video description. If you have a 3D printer and you want to uh, 3D print some of these puzzles, link to Akaki's uh, Thingiverse profile is going to be in a video description as well. And now just hit the like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed and see you in my next video.